Hey. Hey. Did you hear about uh, Martin? Yeah, I heard. I can't believe he's in a coma. He's got my vacuum cleaner. <laughs> You know, I loaned it to him. He never returned it. The carpets are filthy. What am I going to do? Who told you about Martin? Newman. He's good friends with him. Oh, Big Mouth Newman. I should have guessed. He's got all my attachments, you know. <laughs> hey, let me ask you something. How long do you have to wait for a guy to come out of a coma before you can ask his ex-girlfriend out? Or oh, Gina? Yeah. Why wait? Why not just call Dr. Kevorkian? <laughs> You know, I don't get that whole suicide machine. There's no tall buildings where these people live. They can't wrap their lips around a revolver like a normal person. So what's going on between you and Gina? Well, I went with her to the hospital last night. Huh? So we're in the room, and she's trying to get me to kiss her right in front of me. Uh-huh. See, that's the great thing about Mediterranean women. All right, so what'd you do? <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> what kind of a man are you? The guy is unconscious in a coma, and you don't have the guts to kiss his girlfriend? I, I didn't know what the coma etiquette was. There is no coma etiquette. See, that's the beauty of the coma, man. It doesn't matter what you do around him. So you're saying his girl, his car, his clothes, it's all up for grabs. You can just loot the coma victim. I give him 24 hours to get out of it. They can't get out of it by 24 hours. It's a land rush. So if the coma victim wakes up in a month, he's thrilled. He got out of the coma. He goes home, there's nothing left? Nothing left. That's why I'm trying to get that vacuum cleaner. Because somebody's going to grab it. 